Hello everybody, Tohimi Pro here. Today I'm gonna be uh, giving you a comparison, or uh, versus I guess you could say, of um, the Nexus Mod Manager and their whole website and way of getting mods or the Steam Workshop. This is for the PC obviously because you can't get mods for consoles, anyone knows that. So Come to chat get, with an old woman. Yep. Let's get started. So let's start with uh, Steam Workshop because it's the simplest. Um, if you're getting Skyrim, like you're getting coming from the consoles, you don't know crap about modding or anything like that, then uh, you you might think Steam Workshop is obviously the way to go because it's Steam, so you know it's authentic and stuff like that. And if you play other PC games and like uh, I believe it's like Gary's Mod games like that, where all the mods you get are from Steam, you might believe that, you know, you should just use that. And there is no problem with Steam Workshop because it's easy and you download it, it goes straight to your game. It has its own mod manager which comes when you download the game. The issue with it is not the uh, mod manager or anything like that. It's more like uh, the mods have to be very simple. So you can't get ENBs or anything super sophisticated on Steam Workshop. You can get uh, the quest mods and things like that. And weapon mods, which, you know what, maybe that's all you want. If you, if you want simple stuff, go ahead with Steam Workshop. But, uh, you know, it, the mods themselves are very simplistic. Um, Nexus Mod Manager is a bit less simplistic, but it's not difficult at all. Uh, it is more finicky, you have to set it up, you know, it doesn't, you know, issues like that. But the mods you get are pretty good, and uh, if one of the stuff that, um, like the most popular mod Imperial is uh, business. Sky UI, way. which gives you a better, Citizen, you know, inventory, stuff like that. However, um, you have to get SKSE, which is a script extender for Skyrim. And you can get that on the Steam Workshop, but if you're, the reason you're using Steam Workshop is because you're scared of all the complicated stuff. Uh, I mean, S if you could do SKS, you can mod it's not exactly uh, complicated, but SKSE is about as complicated as it gets. I mean, there's some ENBs that are difficult, but, you know, script extenders are kind of more a bit more difficult than mods for it. However, there are a few mods that you have to get that take a lot of reading between the lines and stuff like that. So, in this video I'm not using ENBs because uh, I just got Nexus, but I got a lot of uh, weapon mods, things like that, and the complicated stuff, and I find they're pretty interesting, and honestly, it's not difficult. ENBs, again, they're hard to do, but they're not impossible, and uh, yeah. So once you, and there's a lot of tutorials on YouTube about how to get Nexus Mod Manager. And honestly, getting it itself is very easy. Uh, of course, the only issue is that it's, it's third party, so there are going to be bugs, glitches, and they even say it's in beta, and even though there's not very many issues, you are going to, could find problems. So, oh yeah? And what would you rather yeah. do? I How hope you enjoyed this cat. video. Uh, I'm hoping of doing some Skyrim mod reviews. Uh, it can be Nexus or Steam Workshop. I'm cool with either of those. So, yeah. Every day we get visited. Rate, comment, incredible. and subscribe. Don't be afraid to give me recommendations I for Skyrim videos or any videos from any game. Feindall thinks yep. he can woo Camilla Valerius away from me. Rate, comment, and subscribe. She's already mine. I keep like, and stuff like that. Peace. <clears throat>